John, welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, as you guys can see, we need gas, of course, per usual. You feel me? With this car and any car that I have ever owned. <laughs> but as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, man, just coming on here with a quick POV for you guys today. I noticed that you guys really enjoyed the last one that I did. And as you guys can probably see on the dashboard, we have 878 miles currently completed for the break-in period of the new Next Grady Stage 4 clutch um, and throw-out bearing. I also went and partnered it with the throw-out bearing. Um, so you already know, I gotta just keep driving the car until we hit that 1600 mark. And then once we hit that 1600 mark, we can go ahead and go for the first actual pulls with the new clutch man and start going to the drag strip and stuff like that but um if you guys seen the video that i posted earlier this week which is the one that i was talking about earlier when i said that you know what i'm saying i noticed that you guys really were enjoying the pov footage you know what i'm saying i was talking about getting a short throw shifter for the stang now with that being said Sorry guys, if it's a little shaky, you know what I'm saying? I'm recording with one hand and then driving with the other. My bad, still on the iPhone. Already bought some new batteries for the camera. They should be here, um, I think Monday they said, and we'll be back in action, uh, back in 4K. So just keep bearing with me like you guys have been doing. But yeah, man, I noticed that you guys um, all were telling me NGW is the way to go for the short throw shifter. So with that being said, man, I'm most likely just going to skip the hassle of getting the Barton, seeing if I like it, and then getting the NGW, and then seeing which one um, is better out of the two. And I'm just going to go ahead and go NGW. I'm going to take you guys' word for it. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, rock with them boys, get a short throw shifter for the car through them, um, and hopefully get that little badass um, shift knob that they have that comes with their shifters, because I ain't even going to lie, that joint's pretty hard. I can't cap um so with that being said y'all stay tuned for that installation video because i believe if i'm not mistaken i gotta drop the trans again <laughs> to go ahead and install that joint which kind of sucks but it is what it is it only took me an hour to do it the last time so it's probably going to take me like 30 minutes to get it out this time the first time i had no idea what the hell i was doing as far as this car like i knew what i was doing but i had never did it on a mustang before you know what i'm saying so with that being said, it shouldn't take me that long to go ahead and knock this joint out. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Houston Rose is hella bumpy. Now you guys can actually tell, you know what I'm saying, since I'm recording with my phone, it doesn't have that uh, self-stabilizer function like the camera does. These roads be bumpy as hell, bro. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm gonna be going with the NGW. Um, and then I also wanted to talk to you guys. So Houston Raceway Park is actually, um, you know what I'm saying, closing. I believe starting next year. Um, I know you guys probably seen, I know a whole bunch of YouTubers like, you know, made videos about it and stuff like that because, you know, Cletus and Cars is held at, um, you know what I'm saying, Houston Raceway Park and they're actually having the last event this Saturday, which kind of sucks because I'm not gonna be able to participate um, just because I got work, man. I don't get out to four and the event starts at one. So like, honestly, if you guys have ever been to one of those events, you guys would know that the lines get ridiculously long um, at that event, bro. Like, it's insane. If you don't get there early, bro, <laughs> you're fried. And then at that early, the typical early is not the early that I'm talking about. If you go there, you know, I'm thinking that like, oh, if I pull up like 30 minutes early uh, before, like if I pull up at 12.30 and the event starts at one, I'll be straight, I'll get a good spot in line. Hell no, nah, boy. It's people that pull up in the morning. I'm talking about seven, six o'clock in the morning, bro. Pulling up, sitting in line just to get a good spot, bro. No BS. So with that being said, pulling up at, leaving work at four o'clock and then driving an hour and 30 minutes to the location to try to hop in line. Hell no, nah, I'm good, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I'm already knowing. It's, it's just not, it's not gonna work out. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know what I'm saying, with Houston Raceway Park is just the simple fact that since they're closing, 
Um, I'm not sure if we have another track that's the full quarter mile. Um, I think it's a quarter mile track, if I'm not mistaken. And then HMP is a eight is the eighth mile. I'm not sure. I'm probably mixing those up. But needless to say, like I was telling you guys in previous videos, man, I really want to make this car a track monster. So with that being said. I don't really know too many, you know what I'm saying, racetracks in Houston. So if you guys know any ones other than HMP and Houston Raceway Park, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button and let me know that you guys are ready for the Mexico action, the drag strip action, all of that, because this build is going to be hella fun. Hella fun. I don't, I, I want to get into the build plan with you guys, but I'm going to save that for a later video just because there's some things that I need to go ahead and finalize. 15, because this ain't Costco. All right, it's good enough. Noticed that you guys were really rocking with that POV uh, video, you know what I'm saying? Just based off of the analytics, how long you guys actually stayed tuned for the video it was higher than the average. So you guys were obviously enjoying that. So I thought I might as well bring it back uh, with another video as we're breaking in this clutch. Um, I'm not even gonna cap. I was thinking um, about cleaning the clutch. Not cleaning it, but replacing the brake fluid in the system and putting new brake fluid in. Um, just because I ain't even going to cap. I don't know if this car was ever serviced, like, at all. Um, judging off of the spark plugs, the clutch. Sorry for that glare, y'all. I don't... I, all of this chrome stuff is going to go very, very soon. So don't even worry about that. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying... Um, I, judging off of the spark plugs and how the freaking clutch literally turned into confetti uh, during removal, you know what I'm saying? I really doubt that they ever serviced this car in any way, form, or shape. They might have done an oil change and called it a day. That's probably about it. The brakes are also about to be out of out of there too. So <laughs> I don't think they serviced this car at all, which is kind of crazy to me because the exterior and underneath the car and in the engine bay would lead you to think that this car was taken care of like it's it's a clean car bro chassis clean no rust no scrapes nothing freaking motors runs healthy as hell um the paint is immaculate like it has the swirls and stuff like that but that's what you expect out of a black car but like as far as rock tips stuff like that like scratches and stuff the, the the paint is just it's, it's great bro honestly and then on top of that i think this car might be ceramic coated bro because i was driving during the rain you know what i'm saying and literally all of the water was just beating up on the hood and then with you know ex light acceleration it would dead ass just turn into a big old puddle and roll right off I got out of the car expecting to see water, water spots and stuff like that from water, you know, getting baked by the sun on the paint, but literally got out of the car and it was as dry and clean as can be. It looked like I dead ass just washed it. So I think the car might've been ceramic coated um, at some point in time. Um, it could be wearing off though. I will say that the rear end of the vehicle actually does collect all the water drop spots and stuff like that um so i'm assuming that they only did the front through the middle of the car you know what i'm saying and left the rear um untouched but yeah man i, I really don't think this car was ever serviced and the reason why i'm saying like you know what i'm saying oh i think i should change the brake brake fluid is because as you guys know on these cars or you may not know on these cars the 
brake fluid doubles back as clutch fluid for the transmission. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? I was looking at the brake fluid and it's hella dirty. Um, and on top of that, like with high RPM shifts, you know, or like aggressive throttle, you know what I'm saying? The car, like you'll see, oh my God, y'all seen that shit, right? Like bro, already doesn't have half of his fucking front bumper. Idiots, bro, like I don't get it, bro. I wasn't letting you over, like what the fuck? Just said, fuck it, okay, I'm gonna get over now. Anyway, um, with like a aggressive throttle, you feel me? You get a, a burning smell and it's damn sure not the clutch because Bro, <laughs> I'm grandma shifting, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like something's, something's not right. I already upgraded to the um, to the McLeod braided clutch line. I thought that that would, you know what I'm saying, fix the issue with the burning smell, but it's definitely not. And I'm not able to beat on the car 100% yet. So I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I've only did it like twice. I've only done like two pulls. And after those pulls, I snuck the smell again. So, I don't know, man. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead, drop them down in the comment section down below because, again, I am very curious. And as you guys can see from the last video that I uploaded in regards to the short throw shifter, I actually do read the comments and pay attention to what you guys say when I ask for your advice. Now, when I don't ask for your advice and y'all are just hitting me with some bullshit, the trolls in the comments, you know what I'm saying, I just ignore it. But... You know what I'm saying? When I ask a genuine, a genuine question, I really do need an answer. I do pay attention. So if you guys have any idea as to why I keep getting that burning smell, please go ahead and drop it down in the comment section down below. Is this something that I'm doing wrong? I don't really know. Um, and I can't really beat on the car right now or get on it, you know what I'm saying, because of the break-in period. So with that being said, y'all, I, I really need y'all's help. I'm at a loss for words with this one. But with all that being said, we just put up to the wing stop, man. <laughs> just put up to the wing stop, man. I got to get my lunch. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you guys are loving these POV drives, man, drop it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know, man, because we're at 887 and we're going to 1,600 miles. Once we hit 1,600 miles, then we get to see what this stage two i mean stage four twin disc clutch is really about you know what i'm saying but with all that being said y'all like i say that's gonna be it for this one if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe please 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 we are on the road to 3k we are at 2750 subscribers right now hit that subscribe button if you haven't already man help your boy out let's hit 3k i'm hoping to hit 3k before december man so if you guys could please help your boy out hit that subscribe button and share these videos i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all in the next one peace